What's up guys and welcome back. Today, very special video. I was sent an email by a guy by the name of Daniel Alterman or Daniel Scott as it says here, Daniel Scott Woodworks. He's a fan of the channel. Uh, he sent me a video saying that he built a puzzle specifically for me named it the Whiskey Bar Puzzle. And that's what's inside this crate right now. He sent me a video explaining how um, he was actually a veteran of the army and uh, discharged with uh, a combat PTSD. And I can, I can kind of relate to that because my father uh, also was discharged from the Canadian military forces for that. Hats off to you, Daniel, and thank you for your service. Obviously, this guy put a lot of work into it. He paid like $300 of postage to get this crate to me. Let's get into solving it, but before we do, if you guys wanna send me puzzles, I left a PO box below. Because it's a PO box, you can't send it through a FedEx or UPS or anything like that. It has to be like USPS or Canada Post. It can't be anything that requires a signature. Every now and then, I might uh, I might make a video and solving the puzzles that you guys send me. Now, Daniel had a few rules because this actually has to be mounted on the wall. However, because I'm the one solving it, I don't want to mount it. I'm, I'm going to have my friend Antoine mount it on the wall. We're going to time lapse that for you guys. And then once that's done, we're going to get into solving it. I have no idea. I don't know what the level is here. I, I, I have no clue how to do any of this puzzle. So it should be fun. If you guys like this content, go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you're new here. And uh, let's get into mounting this whiskey bar puzzle. Looks pretty cool, gotta say. I love the decanter. Okay, you can take it off. Okay. Ooh, there's a magnet here. You see that? Mm -hmm. Solved. No, I don't know. I don't know what this is. There's a magnet here, which is really cool. So these things are attracted. So I don't know what that does yet, but there is a magnet here, which allows me to... And then there's this bolt. So I'm gonna unscrew this bolt. And inside this bolt is, what is this? Ooh. Ooh. Well, maybe, maybe this. No. Okay, we'll put that there. I mean, it's a, it's a little, see, maybe here. No. No. Okay, so I don't know what that's for yet. It's gotta be for something. Let's put this aside for now. Maybe you gotta fill it with liquid. I don't know. So again, I'm gonna go over here, see what's happening. I'm just gonna try to hit these bolts with this magnet and try to pull things out. See if uh, see if anything gives here. Okay, okay we're gonna scan for uh, for an extra magnet here somewhere. Let's take this off for now. <gasps> in this. Hmm. So, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing that this has to extract something somewhere. I don't know where, I don't know what. What is this for? What is that there? So the thing is, this little thing fit in here, but the lid is stopping it from going in. Maybe I can push it in there. There's like a button or something in there. iPhone out, use my light. This looks like a solid piece of wood in there. I don't want to put this in and, and regret it, so I'm going to get like a... Why is this part of it? Oh, it's just the light. Don't unscrew the light, do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I unscrew the light for no reason. That's not good. I don't know what to do. Kind of stumped. So this also came with a remote control, which goes here. This remote control, you can uh, you can turn off the light. You can turn it on. The battery. Oh. Okay. Now this top part is loose. 
I'm not gonna force anything, but that top part is loose. Ooh, okay, all right. You said no banging, no smacking or forcing really. What if I use this? Screw it in. Oh, that doesn't seem to do anything. I feel like this has something to do with the bolts. Like there's one. Like there's one bolt that's gonna just come out. I don't know what to do. One thing is that this was on there. Now this has got to be on there for a reason. I'm thinking. I think there's a reason for that. Should we uh, should we fill this up with liquid? We're gonna fill this up with liquid. Be right back. Okay. So we've got uh, we've got some of the finest bourbon in here now. Bourbon water. Maybe the weight of that affects something. Again, I'm. Like this moves. Why? Guess not. Why was that little thing there? Hmm. Why is this bolt here? Is that it? Just to hide something? This really has me stumped. See, I don't know if the solution is simple or if it's really complicated. I have nothing to go on here. Like there's no, you know, if he would have said this is a level one, I would have been like, oh. You know, probably, it's, not, it's just I don't know. Magnet has to do something, and so does this little vial. Still looking for some type of seam. Gotta say, pretty stumped so far. Um, let me know in the comments what you would do right now. Um, if it requires forcing or any of that, throw that out the window because I've tried that and uh, I feel like if I, if I do force it, some things will break. And the message he sent me, he also said, if you feel like it's going to force, uh, if it's going to break, it probably will. So. Is there a clue on the plug? No. I thought maybe banging my head against the wall would help. <laughs> uh, so this thing moves. It doesn't move very much. I can push this side in, and then this goes. I feel like I'm gonna break it if I do that. Oh. Look at this. That comes out when I push this in. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty ingenious. You can push this shelf in just enough for that to have a little bit of space. I'm just gonna take this out and it all falls apart. Actually, I'm gonna move that just in case. Oh, oh hello. Honestly, not sure if I should have taken that out. I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm not just breaking this. Because that's really hard to unscrew. That one was pretty easy. Don't know if I was supposed to take that off. In all honesty. Something's up with this shelf. Something is up with this shelf. I, I honestly don't know if something's up with this shelf or if I'm just tampering with, uh, with this when I'm not supposed to be. Kind of uh, elusive. Oh, now it goes, pushes in this side. Ooh, it's like spring loaded. Oh. What? More vials? Why? What's happening? Okay. So we got three of these vials now, aren't we? I'm just gonna open them to make sure there's nothing inside. They are absolutely identical.
Ooh, baby. Oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that is dope. What do we got up here? Oh, it's a deck of cards. That is the puzzle. There's a deck of cards in there. That is insane. This is insane. See, all the while, I thought it had to be plugged in just for the light. That was a bit of a ruse. At one point, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was breaking this thing or if I was tampering with it when I shouldn't have, but oh man, that is so cool. How cool is that? Draplin Design Playing Cards. These are really cool cards, by the way. I didn't have these, so thank you so much. I'm gonna put that on my shelf. Wires go here, and there's like a little hydraulic system right here. Wow, thoroughly impressed. Well done. Why were there three vials? Where's that crate? There's more vials here. Little brown vials. Oh, there's a note here. <laughs> Just when you thought this thing couldn't get any cooler. Congratulations, Chris. I hope this puzzle made your day. Now you can open the extras box and claim some more stuff. Okay, let's head over to the extras box. All right, so I just wanted to uh, just wanted to show you how cool this is because you can get a full view of it. Check this out. That is so cool. So when you open it up, press up. You got <laughs> so cool. You got his uh, logo here, Daniel Scott Woodworks, and then that. Uh, if you want to get a shot, we'll get some B-roll here. You can see the inner mechanics of this and where the other vials were hidden. Check that out. I'll head over to the table where we're gonna, he sent me this extra box, this is extras, and it was meant to open after I solve it. So we're gonna check that out right now. I'm kind of excited. These are the vials, the magnet, and this is the after box. It says after on it. Because of my experiences, I'm always on guard and I tend to have such a negative perspective on the world and on people in general, I always assume someone is going to take uh, advantage of me or try to hurt me in some way. Uh, that prevents me from interacting with anyone or from having any friends. Uh, but as I keep getting deeper into knowing your channel and from interacting with people in the community, it is peeling back those blinders and really showing me that people are good and it's okay to open up and talk to someone. Don't you think that says something about the impact you can have on people? I put myself way the F out there and you received it with nothing but kindness. I was already jumping around my house screaming like a little girl at that point. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the chance on me. And thanks again, man, for making me feel connected to the people for the first time in 10 years. PS already working on number two. Dan, that means so much to me. Thank you so much. Very, very kind words from Dan here. Oh, wow. Okay, we have so we have an extra bolt in case we ever get stuck. Oh, cool. So he included extra vials. Uh, extra nuts, um, this here to tighten the screws, an extra, let's see if this works. Oh, an extra key, which actually does work. I guess the vials were just there, um, as in you can like leave messages in them, which is really cool. And that's, I guess, what he meant by customizing it. I think that's a really good idea. And that's probably something I'm gonna do. Leave this up in the wall and put some vials here, like uh, maybe a hint or something for the next clue, you know. Uh, very cool, very cool indeed. This is really, really awesome. The decks he hooked me up with, Tempo, I do not have these, those are pretty. Bicycle Bros Mind playing cards. Ooh, look at that, look at that guy. Purple Jack Sellers, also do not have these. And a deck, a second deck of Draplin or Draplin playing cards, which I'm gonna open right now because he told me to. Very, very cool design of playing cards. Gotta say, man, I'm quite taken aback by, uh, by this by this amazing gift. Thank you so much, Dan. It means a lot to me, man. And uh, hang in there. Again, thanks, man. Thank you to everybody watching. If you did like this video, go ahead, show your support, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Right.